Vor dem Eingang zum Surface-Raum scharen sich die Festivalbesucher. Kaum ein Programmpunkt ist so beliebt wie dieser beim Fuchsbau-Festival in Lehrte. Alle wollen zu der Performance Don't Worry Beyoncé. Das Duo Pony Camp aus den Niederlanden macht in ihrer Lecture-Performance vor, wie jeder Beyoncé werden kann. Die Performerinnen erklären, was hinter der Idee steckt. If you came here for democracy, say, Liberté, Egalité, Beyoncé, let's work. I think the reason why I would say become Beyoncé and it's more the sense, it's more like a symbol, it's more a metaphor for something. In the sense of what she, um, what she presents and represents is this fierceness, this, this strength, this independence, this, yeah, this security in a way. Like, I can do this, I'm okay doing whatever I'm doing. And I think that counts for men, women, black, white, fat, skinny, doesn't, young, old, it doesn't matter. And I think that's what she has. Uh, you don't have to like her, you don't have to like her music, but you can't get around her. She's there. Die Queen of Pop beschäftigt sich in ihren Songs unter anderem auch mit politischen Themen. Beispielsweise Polizeigewalt gegen Schwarze und die Gleichberechtigung von Frau und Mann. In ihrem Song Flawless zitiert sie Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, eine feministische Schriftstellerin aus Nigeria. Feminist, a person who believes in the social, political and economic equality of the sexes. She was just sampled in the song, but it was such a nice way to um, make feminism maybe more ac uh, accessible. And what I really like about what Chimamanda also says, she says maybe Beyonce's feminism is not mine, yes. but she's saying every woman can have her own definition of what is feminism for her, because in the end it's about believing in the social, political and economic equality of the sexes. And if you want to do that in a miniskirt, that's fine too. Sich feministisch und sexy präsentieren kann also zusammen funktionieren, solange man nicht wie Miley Cyrus twerkt. This is a cry for help. This is raw. Okay. I think what Beyoncé is doing is much more almost kind of like drag culture. You can almost compare it to like a drag show. She's like over exaggerating every aspect of being a woman that it almost becomes like a transvestite kind of thing. So it's much more of a performance that she's giving, um, which I find very interesting because uh, as women we could also put on wigs and crazy makeup and crazy heels and just perform in that way. Because um, drag is in its own an art form itself. Die perfekt erscheinende Beyoncé ist zwar die Hauptfigur in der Performance, letzten Endes geht es jedoch um den individuellen Zuschauer. Of course the piece is not really about we want everyone to become Beyonce but it's much more about how do you deal with this nowadays pressure of having to have it all like she has you have to have it all and if you don't you kind of failed and we try to sort of playfully just mess that system up and say you really don't have to have it all that's fine be happy don't worry Beyonce Especially don't worry. Yeah, especially It's don't gonna be worry. be fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Vielleicht hat sich bei dem einen oder anderen Festivalbesucher das Selbstwertgefühl gesteigert. Auf jeden Fall hat die Performance gezeigt, Spaß und Feminismus können zusammengehen.